How's it going, friends? Right now, I am at the Broomfield Community Center. It's got a bunch of stuff. It's got this lake, obviously. A little bit of like seating area. It's got baseball diamonds. Over here is the library and actually sort of indoor community center area. There are tennis courts, playground, actually two playgrounds. There's a memorial. Anyways, this is basically just the hub of Broomfield, Broomfield County and the city of Broomfield. And that's because today's video is a virtual tour of Broomfield, Colorado, the city, not the whole county. That'd be a little bit ridiculous. Broomfield, Colorado, virtual tour, best video anywhere on the internet, coming right up. Let's get into it. How's it going, y'all? My name is Jesse Lynch. I run the hardest working real estate team in the game. We are called Welcome to Denver. Check out our website, welcometodenver.co. But this YouTube channel is all about helping you find a place to call home here in beautiful Denver, Colorado. And that's whether you're moving here from across the state, just across town, across the country, from a totally different country, whatever it is, or if you're buying a house for the first time, first time home buyers, relocations, that's what we do. And that's what we do better than anybody else. So if either of those things appeal to you, do us both a favor, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified, give this video a thumbs up and say what's up in the comments. I'd appreciate that very much. And as always, if you're moving here or if you're trying to buy your first house or a combination of two of those things, do whatever you can to get a hold of us. Go to our website, welcome to denver.co email us at info at welcome to denver.co check us out on instagram welcome to denver.co or call or text the number on the screen they all lead to us and we truly cannot wait to help you we've been helping a ton of people and it is so much fun so exciting we get to share this amazing place with you that we truly we just are big fans of it so there's really very little selling that has to be done We're, i'm not trying to sell you on denver i already really like denver there's i feel like there's no convincing there's just hey here's this place and you Go, yeah, that's pretty cool. It is cool. Denver's awesome. The Denver Metro is awesome. And we're just excited to share it with you. Right now I'm at Broomfield. It's called like Field Open Space. There's not a whole lot to see here, but just a great path, great walking path, running path, biking path, and it's gravel. So it's a little easier on the joints if you're running or whatever. And this park is massive. So there's a street right here. And then on the other side of that, it's just a whole bunch more space. Really cool. This is just one little taste of Broomfield. Speaking of that, let's go check out Broomfield. All right, I'm gonna go pick up Jen and yeah, we're gonna hang out. We're gonna show you around. All right, let's go. Hey, look, it's Jen. Hey guys, I had to be here for this one because this is literally like within a three mile radius. This is my favorite part of all of the greater Denver, greater Boulder, just all of it. I love this area so much. It is beautiful. This neighborhood is bananas. Really, really cool views. She was saying like amazing trails. It connects through everything, yep. Yeah, really cool spot. These houses are insane, cool views. Yeah, so Broomfield overall is about 25 minutes directly north of Denver and about 20 minutes east of Boulder. It is 
just west of 25 mm -hmm. and just east of 36. Really strange borders, but I'm not even gonna get into the specific borders, what's around it. That's an approximation. I mean, if, you, if basically if you're driving from Denver to Boulder, you would not drive right past this part of Broomfield, but this is maybe 10 minutes east. And it's nice because going that extra 10 minutes, you're going a little bit higher. And that's why this area of Broomfield, it's overlooking the city and the mountains. Absolutely. And it's just a little bit south of where you live in Erie, right? Yep. Just south there. Yes. Five minutes? Ten we're, minutes? we're almost there. Yeah, a few yeah. minutes. Yep. So it borders lots of things. It's all, we won't get into it. But yeah, the zip code lines are all strange here. Yeah. And then depending on where you are within Broomfield, you're about a half an hour from the airport. So let's talk about the size of Broomfield. It is the second most dense city in the greater Denver area, second to Denver, and that is Broomfield City. Or Broomfield is a little more new than if we're talking about Denver and Boulder. There isn't a bunch of old, old, old apartment complexes piled on top of each other. Most of the apartment complexes and townhomes here, they feel very clean and very new because it is in between. So people didn't really start moving here until I'd say 15, 20 years ago was when it really started to grow, where, you know, 40, 50 years ago, you know, Denver and Boulder was already booming. So that's another reason that I love Broomfield. It is very dense, but it doesn't feel like that because in, in Broomfield County, there's lots of open space, lots of golf courses here. Yeah, I would, it, as far as the like, suburbs go, there's pockets of like very dense populations where it's condos and townhomes. Obviously this neighborhood, not very dense at all. Giant yard. Not, giant not, houses. Yeah, giant houses, giant yards not particularly dense but as you get like, kind of closer towards you know the center of broomfield it gets to be quite quite dense where there's the apartments sort of and condos right next to the commercial spaces and overall broomfield county is a small land mass compared to like denver county denver county is way bigger broomfield county pretty small and so that makes it second most dense overall according to niche.com broomfield gets an a public schools here get an A minus. One thing, I would say one very important thing to know is that there are six different school districts that serve Broomfield. So when you're moving here, if you move here, if you're considering moving here, pay close attention to which school district, which schools specifically are serving sort of the address of where you're looking at. Because it's not as easy as Broomfield School District. It's all A plus. It's a little trickier than that. And it is voted the absolute best school district in the greater Denver area, number one out of 19. We're gonna turn around real quick. A few notable schools within the Boulder Valley School District. Fairview High School gets an A plus. Boulder High School gets an A plus. And Peak to Peak Charter School, which is a K through 12, also gets an A plus. Another notable district is the Adams 12 Five Star Schools. Yeah, so overall that gets a B, but within the Adams 12 Five Star Schools district, there are several really, really highly rated schools. It actually is voted best elementary schools, the district with the best elementary schools in all of the Denver area. So the number one best elementary schools in the Denver area. And it is voted second best middle schools in all of the Denver area. Yep. Now let's talk about the price of homes here. Obviously this neighborhood we're in beautiful homes, gigantic mansions, <laughs> not quite affordable. However, the median in Broomfield is still at 565. And that is because of the huge variety of homes, apartments, and condos here. You know, right by McKay Lake, there's beautiful townhomes and apartments in the low 400 range. And you go to the other side of it, and then you have these really, really awesome houses that are gonna be, you know, at least $1 million. So there's a wide range here, and that shows in the median, which is right at 565. Yeah, I think the sort of barrier for entry, single family is gonna be right around 400,000. Barrier for entry on townhome condos is gonna be 300. Mm -hmm. So to sum it all up, there's a reason Broomfield's very popular. There's a reason that I would like to move here. The location is awesome. You get views of the city, views of the mountains. It's much more affordable than living in the city or in Boulder or up in those mountains but you still feel like you're very close to it. It has trails, golf courses. There are cute restaurants to go to. There's lots of shopping. It's convenient to lots of stores. So you never, the quality of life here is just great. You never have to drive too far to do anything. Yeah, really cool spot. Excited to show you around a little bit more. Let's go check it out.
friends, right now we are basically just an example of sort of the suburban conveniences that Broomfield has to offer. It's really kind of boilerplate suburban stores. This could be in any state, any city, any suburb in the country, but it does have pretty much everything. Pretty much all of the standard conveniences you'd want, which is first pro is that it's got everything that you really need to get by. A lot of people, so this is another pro, a lot of people move here because it's just convenient for many different reasons. It's in between Boulder and Denver, but the prices are lower than Boulder and Denver. So if you work in Boulder or Denver and you want those lower prices, you come to Broomfield and you're 20 minutes from both. It's literally on the way, right in between. It has everything you need, so you never have to drive far for any type of shopping. So a huge pro of Broomfield's location, not just for residential purposes and for shopping and convenience, is yes, this is residential and you can find this in many other cities, but if you are moving to Colorado and you want that Colorado lifestyle, which is Denver and Boulder and being by the mountains, being by the city and breweries and all of it, there's so many suburbs in the greater Denver area. Broomfield is going to be the most central to all of it. Like we can, you know, we have a whole list of residential suburbia places to visit. Broomfield is the most convenient. You can pop to Boulder, you can pop to Denver, to the mountains. It's just, it's so central. Yeah, and I think another sort of, when people are looking at suburbs, they're a big part of it a lot of times is schools, right? They're looking for the best schools. And I think it's hard to beat sort of the central location of Broomfield it combined with how good the schools are. The schools, there are some of the best schools in Colorado, in Broomfield, and that's basically runs the gamut of elementary, middle, high school, private, public. There are some really, really good schools here. So I think that's gonna be a pretty big driving factor in what makes people wanna move here, especially if they have to, let's say it's a married couple, one of them works in Boulder, one works in Denver, or you wanna- Work-life balance. Yeah, you wanna be able to you know, go to the mountains, but also work in downtown Denver. It's gonna be hard to beat Broomfield. So I personally live in Erie right now, and I think that Broomfield's gonna be my next location. I, it being so central to so many things, especially with me driving around so much to North Denver, South, all over. And Broomfield has beautiful views. It's a little bit higher up in some neighborhoods. So in certain parts of Broomfield, you will get views of the city and the mountains. So that's why it's super appealing to me. And there are trail systems that go all the way through Broomfield that literally connect you all the way up to Denver and all the way to Boulder. So I'm a big runner. The trail systems are important to me and they are awesome in Broomfield. Then kind of one last pro is that you can get into Broomfield for not too crazy of a price actually I think a pretty affordable price if you're willing to get a townhome or a condo or something like that in the threes much more affordable than trying to do that in Boulder or Denver yeah absolutely and then I guess one the first con while yeah you're gonna have these nice suburban neighborhoods you're gonna have the suburban amenities I think like most suburbs one thing Broomfield lacks is sort of like identity character culture, that kind of thing. It is pretty much boilerplate suburbia. So the next con about living in Broomfield is going to be a con in lots of places, which is traffic. If you are, you know, the secret's out. If you want a more affordable place, but you are commuting to Denver, you'll buy a place in Broomfield. Lots of other people are doing that though. So if you work in Denver and you are commuting to Broomfield, it's not going to be fun during rush hour. I used to live in Boulder and I worked in Broomfield, but I had coworkers that lived in Denver and I would go home and cruise past all the traffic. It was awesome, but they knew they were getting ready to sit in traffic for a while because there's more people coming out of Denver and working in Broomfield than the opposite. Now, if you work in Broomfield and live in Denver, don't be sad, but more people are doing the opposite because of how much more affordable it is than being in the city. Absolutely, and then, yeah, likewise, if you work in Boulder, I think, this isn't a con, but that kind of says, if you live in Boulder or work in Boulder and live in Broomfield, you're pretty much sad. What about if you work in Boulder and live in Broomfield? So the opposite of what I did, that's gonna be the same situation as Denver. So Boulder and Denver are more expensive places. So you are more likely to work in Boulder or Denver and commute into Broomfield. Remember, Broomfield's in the center. So if you are working in Broomfield and commuting to Boulder or Denver, you're gonna have the same traffic issue. Absolutely, yeah. And then, okay, so that makes sense. So then it's kind of classic suburbia 
And while it is super conveniently located, that's the streets. Yeah, it's convenient for everybody. So the traffic, it's kind of going to be a bummer. Okay, and then this isn't really a con. This is just a gripe. This is just me being like. This I is, think it's because our, of our job. Yeah. We like to have like geography, like things that make sense. Yeah, this is kind of annoying to me. So this is Broomfield. That is Westminster. The borders of Broomfield. Zigzags all over. The They're place. ridiculous. Yeah. So and fair warning. There's going to be some B-roll in this video that is probably Westminster because I probably just traveled outside of the lines of Broomfield because they're so wacky. But that's a gripe. Who really cares? It's not really going to affect your life at all unless you're trying to make videos about Broomfield. But yeah, that's kind of it as far as pros and cons. And uh, we'll see you in the next clip. friends right now i'm basically in this like little sort of oh metropolitan area it's a cool spot you got some condos you got some commercial spaces it's like one of the most sort of walkable little microcosms or it's a small area but you know if you live in one of these apartments or condos you can walk to some of these places and then right over here which i suspect this is what a lot of this is kind of about right over here is the first bank center First Bank Center is uh, basically a venue for different things, concerts, UFC, fights, other stuff. And basically think of any concert or event that has maybe 10,000 people or less. I actually don't know how many people it seats, but that's just a ballpark. As I'm looking at it, that seems a little high. Didn't Google that, I apologize. Usually I do more research on little details like that. Anyways, if you watch these videos, you know that I have a section, we have a section called for fans of, as in, if you like what you see here, maybe try these other spots. Maybe check out some of these other spots. So specifically, if you are into Broomfield, I would say the first spot that I'm gonna recommend you check out for some different reasons is Lakewood. And we have a video, or by the time this video is out, very shortly after that video will be out, depends. But Lakewood is similar in its sort of suburban conveniences where it has a ton of stuff, same like Broomfield, but has a little bit more of like a an urban vibe or a first ring suburb vibe. Whereas I feel like for the most part, Broomfield is a true suburb. You know what I mean? Complete suburb. I said that during the pros and cons anyways. And then the next spot that I'm going to recommend you check out is Littleton. Littleton is a really cute little town. It's to the south of Denver, whereas this is basically between between Denver and Boulder, obviously. And so Littleton has the really good schools. It has the adorable, cute little old school downtown. So if you're looking for that, you're not gonna find that here as much, but if you want the good schools, kind of the coziness, kind of the accessibility of it, check out Littleton. And then sort of another end of, I think this might be one of the single most like ultimate suburbs in all of the sort of Denver area is Centennial. Centennial has every Everything. And it's a pretty massive sort of sprawling suburb. So if you're looking for that suburb vibe where you're for sure gonna have to drive to everything, but it's gonna have everything. It's gonna be removed from the city. It's gonna feel generally statistically safe. You're not gonna feel quite the hustle and bustle that you will. In the cities, Roomfield obviously I think is a great one for that. But then for the same reasons, Centennial is a good one for that. And then I think the next one is gonna be Boulder. In fairness, Bloomfield does not feel like Boulder, but a lot of people who want to live in Boulder or near Boulder, maybe they want to do the stuff that Boulder has to offer, but can't afford Boulder. I think Broomfield is an excellent choice for that sort of type of home buyer, that sort of relocation. If that's what you're looking for, maybe you want to be close to Boulder, but can't exactly afford the prices there. I think Broomfield is an awesome choice, but if you're watching this Broomfield video, maybe you're a little unimpressed. Maybe you wish you were a little closer to the mountain 
Mountains, check out Boulder for sure. I got a video on that as well. We'd love to help you out in Boulder. And then last but not least, Erie. Erie is currently where Jen lives. She said the next house she buys is gonna be in Broomfield. I just think maybe Erie is a little bit of a younger suburb, a little further out. If you wanna be a little more conveniently located to both Denver and Boulder, Broomfield is gonna be better. But if maybe you want a new build for less, check out Erie. Maybe you care more about the house and sort of the neighborhoodiness than you do about the amenities or the location, Erie would be a good bet. In summary, in summation of Broomfield, if I had to sum up Broomfield in three things, I would say great schools. I would say it's a complete suburb. I know I've already said that. It's got everything you need out of a suburb. And then the last thing is basically super conveniently located halfway between Denver and Boulder. It's 25 minutes or so to downtown Denver, 20 minutes or so downtown Boulder. Okay, I appreciate y'all watching this. As always, if you're thinking about moving here to beautiful Denver, Colorado, do whatever you can to get a hold of us. Info at welcome to denver.co. That's our email. You can check out our website at welcome to denver.co. You can check us out on Instagram at welcome to denver.co, or you can call or text the number on the screen. They all lead to us, and we truly can't wait to help you. This is so much fun truly relocating especially love to represent people we love to kind of show off this place that we really care about that we really think is an awesome place to live denver colorado specifically boulder and as always as you exit the video do so safely subscribe to the channel click the bell to get notified give the video a thumbs up say what's up in the comments i would appreciate that very very much all right we did it that's broomfield i'll see you in the next one take it easy